Greetings, ladies and gentlemen. Now, you know, regarding Ashagwa has become very jealous. We are going to hunt them down. Kazkach in the center. And let me say now, Pali Mefika, Sasa Nisawa, it's okay. Sasa, watch a Sasa to own a village Takwa. Whatever he was thinking Raila would not do, he's seeing everything becoming very possible with Raila. Let me tell you one thing. You know, when Rigadi Gashagwa and the team came to power, they had in mind, or actually they had a formed opinion in them that they, you know, they finished Raila politically. The people of Kenya rejected you five times. One of the things that was deeply in their mindsets is that Raila was totally buried politically. You know, Rikadi Ashagwa did not know that uh, Raila is a man who has always had, you know, um, kind of metamorphosis in his political life cycle. So based on that, I want us to make some deductions out of that. And actually that might inform what is going to happen ahead. And mark you, you have not seen the president being so angry. <laughs> like, you know, Rigadi Gashagwa is angry. So it tells one thing about Rigadi Gashagwa and it also tells another thing about the president himself. You know, I, I think this is the time that uh, President Ruto is taking time to contextualize what happened. I only have two reasons that I want to give you and then we call it um, a time. First of all, Rigadi Gashagwa is not secure. Sasa amekuwa dio muti ya kukodishwa na watu ya zimio. Those boys who are looting things on Mubasa Road belong to that Kebino Gang. Remember, it has been him all along that has been at the very forefront trying to manage Raila Odinga with his words and actions that cannot be substantiated. In fact, most of the times when you hear him in the events, he gets opportunity to speak. And when he speaks, some of the words he would utter, you know, he would say, I am going to deal with him the, in the next, you know, mandaman or demonstration. And then when the demonstration day reaches, we don't see him do anything. Then later he picks up, resumes, you know, kind of procrastinating how he will be dealing with Raila Odinga. So this one, which was very serious, you know, even the president joined them. Mimi nataka ni waeleze vile vile. Kesho kutakuwa na amani Kenya. Nasikia wale majamaa wanataka kufanya maandamano. Mimi nataka ni waambie mapema na mchana. Walifanya maandamano Ijumaa. Even the president went ahead, you know, and publicly declared how he would he will deal with the demonstrations of Wednesday and it did not materialize at all. And as a matter of fact, you know, we did not even see Raila Odinga and the team coming out to join the demonstrators. So that is that is another story altogether. So the insecurity that is in Rigadi Gashago right now is so huge, so immense, that he doesn't know where he will lie next based on whatever he says. In fact, a time is going to catch up with him when even in his own instincts, he's going to start realizing that there is no need of me trying to threaten this man before a planned demonstration takes place. In fact, it would be better if he speaks after the demonstration because that is the time that he would get to kind of rebuke anything that happened, use, you know, a very obscene words to describe and uh, kind of stereotype individuals with the mandamano and to have his way as a man who knows how to speak and to show his anger when he is speaking because his hands will be tied. And that leads me to the second point. Why is Rigadi Gashagwa so much jealous right now? The second thing is that there is nothing he can do. His hands are tied. Remember, um, some few days ago, we had the confrontation between, you know, the 
uh, CS for internal security, that is uh, Kiture Kindiki, and he referred to a section of, you know, leaders and the security personnel who are going against the ethos and the moral code of conduct in the security sector. In fact, if you were to deeply look into what he was saying, you will definitely come into conclusion that the man who has been speaking of how he will handle Raila with the security apparatus, who is none other than Rigadi Gashagwa, was the man he was targeting. So in this case, anything that happened, you know, anything that happened, perhaps, you know, Kithiro Kindiki might not have given proper directives. The security personnel might have had a confusion you know, the entire system of managing issues like Mandamano, things to deal with insecurity, they have been thrown into a state of confusion. So meaning there is nothing he can do as security personnel to contain Raila Odinga. Uh, you know, they always say judgment starts from day one. And if they couldn't manage Raila in the very first phase, and even coming up with countermeasures, then the second phase we are seeing the very first two demonstrations taking the day like we saw, then it means going ahead, there is nothing that they are going to do. And if the threats are supposed to be issued every time and then, then the threats are only supposed to be kind of facilitating this fire. Meaning, if they reduce the threats, then the man who will take the day is none other than Raila Odinga. If they increase the threats, Raila Odinga will always carry the day because that will be like a momentous, uh, you know, move towards organizing other mandamanos. So this man's hands are tied. There is nothing that they can do. They are put in a cocoon of confusion where they can't reason enough. And that is exactly why you see the anger, you see the bitterness, you see the jealousy, you see the kind of words that they spew. And so... You know, at the end of it, the man who has always carried the day, the man who has had the time, the man who has proved to be championing for the rights of the people, and that is the man within a school of politics, Raila Odinga. What do you say, ladies and gentlemen? There is this phrase, actually the term, um, where Raila comes from, they always call him uh, Raila, a hot metal. So, that metal is so hot to the extent that whatever it touches, it consumes steadily. Let me see you in the next analysis, ladies and gentlemen, and may you have a great time.